As promised in the last video, you can now get a sample of Mr. Fragrance on its own by clicking in the link in the description down below. The people who clicked to reserve a notification when the sample became available have gotten first dibs on that on the sample by you know a few hours before this is uploaded, and almost 200 people have signed up for that notification and we only have 200 samples to sell. So if the sample isn't already sold out and we're only gonna be selling for 48 hours as well, by the way, if the sample hasn't already sold out, uh, you can go and grab one quickly in the link down below. Michael Plouffe gives a five-star review and says, excellent office slash casual fragrance. Off of my skin, I get citrus, floral, and grassy accords. These notes are then refined and classy, yet bright, but without harsh or rough edges. J. Ro Marin gives Mr. Fragrant five stars. He says, very well-made fragrance, everything in one bottle. Perfect for any occasion, beautiful and refreshing, very well-made. Raid says, fresh and clean, five stars. Fresh and clean, versatile, and can be used as a daily. Long-lasting, the patchouli adds a nice earthy richness. So guys, if you've been dying to try Mr. Fragrance, link in the description. Ah, fragrance TikTok. Good old, beautiful TikTok. The, the fragrance industry there is a bit interesting. It's very different to YouTube. And I like doing these videos because we kind of see a different world, different side to fragrances. And I quite enjoy doing these reaction videos. You, you see some interesting characters and interesting video concepts. So we have almost 10 videos to react to today that I've been tagged in. Let's get started. Okay, we have a review of a WD-40 cologne. Cologne. Smells like WD-40. This is actual men's cologne that's meant to smell like WD-40. I'm gonna test it out. The packaging looks very bland. <laughs> it's just an atomizer, okay. The atomizer on the actual WD-40 canister is actually really good. That's really impressive. Someone should put that in, in a fragrance for an actual fragrance. That's great. WD-40. WD-40 cologne. In conclusion, it's uh, it's as awful as you'd imagine. Why did I do that? Ooh. First of all, if Casey Neistat's actually doing fragrance reviews, it's over for the rest of us. That's it. He's going to take over, take over the game. But I do fi find it interesting that a perfumer was able to recreate WD-40 as a scent. Would you want that? I would describe WD-40 sort of like, how would you describe it? Very chemical-like, synthetic, uh, greasy, I suppose. Uh, but I guess if you're like a petrol head, if you're one of those guys who wants like an alternative to the Orphs Fahrenheit, then I guess this will work. If you want to, you know, pull those mechanic uh, chicks and go ahead, guys. There's now a WD-40 cologne. There we are. Okay, I got tagged in a Jeremy video. You know who's going to make a feature here. Did you ever want to do this? I did it now for you. I've never wanted to do that. That's an expensive fragrance as well. I think I just sprayed about $3.90. Very accurate. Um, yeah, I don't know what, I don't know. I went viral, that video got like millions of views. I don't know why it did. Um, but I guess, yeah, fair play. He must smell great now. Okay, this one seems interesting. If I combine, ooh, Cheetos and a perfume commercial. Now that's gonna be interesting. Uh, presumably this guy's like a professional uh, advert maker. And uh, I think it's quite funny how most perfume commercials are very generic and they mean nothing. Most of them they have like some weird celebrity saying random nonsense. So uh, it'll be interesting to see how it mixes up with Cheetos. By the way, seagulls are brutal. I've had my burgers snatched out of my hands so many times by these guys, especially in Wales. If you, people who live in Wales, they know they are just savages. The worst animal. Can you feel it? It's in the air. Puffs with the essence of cheese, and cheese is the essence of life.
Shadow Buffets. That was perfect. Do you, you see what I mean? Cheese is the essence of life. He got the random nonsense that they throw into perfume commercials perfectly there. I like his French accent. And uh, yeah, <laughs> that, was, that was very great. I actually give it a like. I gave us a like halfway through watching this. It was so creative. And you you find like, for, through the work we did for Mr. Fragrant for our photography, product photography there, what he showed is that it was really impressive. Like, he, he, they make it look so good. When you see them behind the scenes, you really get admiration for professional photographers and videographers. I'm not like one of those guys at all. I'm not like trained in that background, but you do really appreciate the art when you see them in person and in action. So that is an extremely good skill. He, he pulled that concept off really well. I think that's a liver king. I don't watch much of his stuff, uh, probably for that reason. Uh, one fragrance that I did blind by that went horribly wrong was Le Labo Santal 33. I spent a lot of money on that and it's just, I can't grow to like it at all. Um, just, which just goes to show even like the big hyped up fragrances might not always turn out well for you when you blind buy. Blind buying is always a risk, but it's still quite fun though. I do enjoy blind buying, if I'm honest with you. Nice meet you. Jerome Smith, come on. Problem. By the way, guys, are there any Key and Peel fans watching this video? Let us know in the comments down below. I love Key and Peel. What's up, fam? <laughs> you know this. Keith Williamson. Nice to meet you. Mary oh. Woodbury. Nice to meet you. Jay Martell. Nice to meet you, sir. Tasha Robbins. Come on, come oh. on, come on. <laughs> Feel that? Emily oh. George. Nice to meet you. Daryl <laughs> Stokes. <laughs> Okay, I, I get the concept of the video. Uh, like uh, Herod, I you know I kind of, I may, I wouldn't maybe reject Herod like that, but you know, I, I think Herod would just get a handshake. I don't love it as much as most people do, but you know, that is kind of brutal what um, fake Obama did to apart from the Marley's Herod there. First one, cologne. Uh uh. Then two. Three. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You want to get everything too. Then after that. Four. Another day, you smelling good. Bro is the layering king. He's layered like 600 different fragrances on himself. Somebody lights a lighter around him, he's a goner. If you're a guy that has never gotten a compliment with your fragrance, you probably spray wrong. I'm gonna teach you how to spray. What's up with today's video? I've chosen videos that are all about the theme of overspraying, so that's the theme today, guys. But you know, I think Curly is gonna show us how to overspray or not to sissy spray. Most people just spray too little. I always suggest you to spray 16 times. This is how you do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Shoulders, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Trust me, if you spray like this, the compliments will roll in. Now that's a controversial, you know, everyone has a different opinions on, spray, on spraying, but you know, 16 fragrances for the vast majority of fragrances is gonna be killer. Um, I'm kind of, I'm the, on the fence of, you know, even the really weak fragrances, eight sprays is all you need. If it's not gonna do well with eight sprays, I don't think 16 sprays will make a difference, but just have the opening will be very intense in the first 10 minutes or so. But you know, I'm a sissy sprayer, so what do I know? Worth it. Yeah, fine. Just just go bankrupt. You know, you gotta smell good, guys. Come on. I don't know if this hack works. I've never tried it. Number two, I actually did my own TikTok on it uh, about testing a moisturizer, 
and seeing if it increases longevity. I've got a minimal results from that very common hack that people talk about. So there's, there's some common hacks and phrases that just aren't true. People saying that coffee beans resets your nose. No, that's not how it works. It actually make your nose even more tired and moisturize it, improving the longevity. From my experience, it hasn't worked. If you guys have had different experiences to me, let me know, but I don't think it makes that much difference. But I do agree with point number three having a fragrance for every occasion. There are the five main occasions we always talk about, talk about on this channel. I completely agree with that last point. What do you like a guy to smell like? What cologne? Yves Saint Laurent. Yeah. I agree with I her. Know. What about Dear Sauvage? No. No. This video reminds me why I just don't go clubbing anymore. <laughs> I can't. Fuck you, no! Your Sauvage is basic as fuck. So if you get the Zorro, the most wanted, I'm telling you that's the best fragrance that you can get out of working fragrances. And it's the best fragrance that you can get, I promise. Yeah, you know, I don't disagree with her uh, statement. I think the Zara most one is very sexy. But Sauvage, you know, if you enjoy it, wear it, guys. Rock it. Um, I think myself, I've become too snobby about hating, hating on Sauvage. Uh, so I think, you know, I'm, I'm going to dial it back a bit. I, you know, if you enjoy it, just rock it. But um, yeah, like, fair point, but I just hate it. Like, just, this video just gave me a headache just watching it. So what have we learned from today's episode? First of all, it's okay to go horribly bankrupt as long as you have some niche fragrances on you. You can layer about 12 different fragrances at one time. At least spray 16 times of each fragrance. And finally, the clubbing girls hate Sauvage, so you'll go home empty if, <laughs> if you don't wear a Zara the Most Wanted. Okay guys, hopefully this uh, fra fragrance TikTok rendition has been as educational as always. What are your thoughts on today's ep uh, episodes that we reacted to? Make sure to get your sample of Mr. Fragrant before it's sold out, guys, quickly. <laughs> I'm telling you now. Thank you for watching, guys. Make sure to check out our previous parts on TikTok reactions that I've previously done. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.